Okay, thank you, Doc. My next guest... Good. Uh, my next guest is named uh, Louis Anderson. He's a comedian. He's making his first appearance on national television. And he's going to be opening tomorrow night in Las Vegas, the new comedy store at the Dunes Hotel, and he'll be there through Sunday night. Would you welcome, please, Louis Anderson. Thank you, Thank you, Andy. I can't stay long. I'm in between meals, so bear with me. <laughs> I was just at McDonald's, and all those statistics just changed. So. <laughs> I went shopping today. What's this one-size-fits-all stuff? <laughs> being in California, being fat, and uh, try to get into this California life. Went to the beach the other day. Every time I'd lay down, people would push me back into the water. <laughs> And the bums down at the beach Always coming up to you, those guys Hey, buddy, could you help me out with a sandwich? Well, sure, where is it? <laughs> of course, what brought me to California was the Olympics I was, uh, tried every event for the Olympics uh, Tried that pole vault I drove that sucker right into the ground <laughs> I did a good thing, though. I straightened out those uneven parallel bars. <laughs> Broad jump, killed her. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sweating, but if I don't, I'll explode. My favorite thing is when you go over to someone's house and you're fat, they, they overcompensate. Oh, come on in, Louie, and sit down here on this concrete sofa. <laughs> or the reinforced steel lawn furniture. <laughs> do what I do, head right for that wicker. People say, Louie, why do you do those fat jokes? Because if I didn't, you guys would sit out there and go, do you think he knows he's that big? <laughs> like I woke up one morning, oh, no. <laughs> Honey, get in here. <laughs> I am from Minnesota. Any Minnesota? <laughs> Could I get a ride home with you? <laughs> oh, where would we put him? I love Minnesota. We go back every year. It's a great outdoor state. Do a lot of camping. Of course, when I go camping, the bears put their food up in the trees. <laughs> I had a very... I had that very strict Midwestern upbringing, a very strict father, the kind of guy who hates everybody. You know, my dad, we'd be in the family car driving down the street. He'd spot somebody walking down the street that was a little different. Oh, he'd slow that car down. <laughs> Look at that. For crying out loud. Get my rifle. <laughs> or he would, he would say things that made no sense to you when you were a kid. He'd be driving, the traffic would get rough. You know, if I was the last person on earth, some moron would turn left in front of me. And when he'd say that, too, if I was the last person, you'd always turn to your brother and go, wish he was, don't you? <laughs> My dad, I heard that, damn it. Do you kids want to walk home from here? Well, yeah, it's only a block. <laughs> don't get smart with me. Or I'll drive you ten damn miles and drop you off. <laughs> That's how far I had to walk to school every damn day. <laughs> and... And my brother would chime in, and you didn't have any shoes either, did you, Dad? 
I don't want you to get the wrong impression of my father. He never hit us. Carried a gun. <laughs> well, he never shot it. He just called. <laughs> Very effective. Also. I loved hassling my parents. I had a younger brother, of course. That's the easiest way. Because you don't have to hit them or anything. You just get up in the morning. You get on to breakfast. You look across the table. You do this. <laughs> you do that. You'll hear this every time. Mom. Louie's looking at me again. <laughs> and you love that because you go, oh, is it against the law to look at